Hey guys, so listen, um, if you are in an international country, uh, then you know you might have to use a different merchant processor or a different gateway, um, as Shopify calls it, to accept payments. Now, the great thing and the great news is they are partnered with so many, it's over 70 different gateways you could choose from. Um, I'm gonna tell you which ones I think are the best and our other international students are using. Um, it's important to notate that Shopify Payments, right? The Shopify Payments gateway option uh, that I showed you in the previous video is only accessible to people that are in, let me just see, they had it listed right here. I wanted to double check as I was filming this video. Um, Shopify Payments is accessible to, there we go. If you are in the United States, Puerto Rico, Canada, United Kingdom, or Australia, then you're good to use Shopify Payments, okay? If you're not in one of those countries, then what you're going, you're gonna wanna click the link below this video, okay? And it's gonna take you to a list of all the Shopify payment gateways that are available. All you gotta do is just scroll down and find your country. That's it. So um, let's just say that you are in Belgium. You click list of payment gateways in Belgium, all right? And look at this, there's so many options. This is just, you know, um, it's a lot of options. So you're good, right? Uh, let me tell you which ones are popular. To check out, a lot of our students used to check out. Authorize.net is very popular. Obviously, PayPal is very popular. So PayPal is always a great option for international. And of course, um, Stripe is extremely popular. Stripe is probably the best. If you have the option to use Stripe, that's probably the best option. So there's tons of great options here. You might have, be able to use Amazon Pay, PayPal, Authorize.net to check out Stripe. These are all there. And all you have to do is find your country in this list. Like let's say, um, I don't know, let's try uh, Ireland. Once again, look, to check out Authorize. You'll usually see to check out and Authorize.net everywhere. Um, and they, they have their, looks like they say Shopify payments in there, but um, I'm not too sure about that, even though it's listed here. Um, you might want to hit support. Now, if you have questions about integrating these, these other gateways, which is super, super simple, all you have to do is come back over to your Shopify store and right here where your little uh, initials are, you just click here and you'd wanna say um, enable live chat or go to the help center and they'll give you more information on it. They'll help walk you through it. Uh, they have a phenomenal support. So if you're international, uh, you're, you're not gonna be able to use Shopify payments unless you're in like United Kingdom, Australia, Canada, US, Puerto Rico. Um, you saw the list. You might have to come here and choose a different gateway, in which case there's a link that takes you to all of the different options that are down here. So, you know, it's really, really simple for everybody to find their country and what gateways they should be using. Once again, if you have questions about this, Shopify support is more than well equipped to answer questions for you on that and help you get integrated. And a lot of people, honestly, uh, from what I've seen, prefer to use different gateways uh, for various different reasons. And, and like I said, Stripe is probably the most popular. Um, then it would go like to authorize.net and to check out. And of course, we all know PayPal is super popular. So click the link below this video if you are international and just click on your country and see what your options are. Get set up and you'll be ready to start accepting credit cards from all over the world.